March 13th, 2020, I was sent home from work due to the pandemic outbreak. Shortly thereafter, they canceled all church meetings for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. For some time, we'd been having what we dubbed home church, which was an hour spent on Sunday learning about the gospel in our home. As part of the cancellation of church meetings, that meant there would also be no sacrament meeting, and therefore no way to take the sacrament. Fortunately, the First Presidency of the Church authorized preparing and passing of the sacrament in our own homes. My neighbor approached me about making a sacrament tray because she knew I did woodworking and she wanted something that she could use specifically for the sacrament in her home. I made one for her and because it was just as easy at the time to make a couple, I did so. posted some pictures on social media, not thinking much of it, when several other people approached me about making sacrament traits for their family. As I got into it, I realized that this was an opportunity for me to provide not only a way for them to have the sacrament in their home, but provide a keepsake after quarantine and the pandemic has run its course to remember. I think that's one of the most important parts of this whole confusing time is remembering. Um, in the sacramental prayers, it talks about remembering remembering the sacrifice of the Savior, remembering that we've made covenants. And this is simply a way to provide a, a visual representation of those covenants. Normally I sign and date the work that I do but somehow these felt different. So they are very simple. They're made of hardwood so that they will be durable, but they are not ornate. They are meant to be simply a reminder of the opportunity to have a savior in our lives, even when the world is crumbling down around us, it seems. As I make each tray, I think about who it will serve and how they will be able to remember the Savior on a weekly basis. I hope that your family is able to find peace through Jesus Christ during this trying time. And that when we all come out on the other side, we're better people and a better world.